वेलकम गाइस टू केक्स माय नेम इज गौरव एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी गोन लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप अ थ्री इंच टच एच डी एम आई डिस्प्ले विद रेसबेरी पाइव सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Welcome back guys to another video. So in today's video we're going to learn how to set up this wave share 3 inch touch display with the Raspberry Pi. If we talk about the box, here we get a card and here we get a HDMI to micro HDMI connector and then a heat sink and then here we have the display. We also get a HDMI to HDMI connector if you are using it this with the Raspberry Pi 3 or 3B+. If you are using the Pi 4 then you have to use this one. Now here, as you can see, so here we have some buttons for the configuration of the screen. Then we have the HDMI in and then we have the audio out and the power and then the GPIO for the touch. Let's just compare this with the previous one. So this is the previous cheaper 3.5 inch touch display that we used in the previous video. As you can see, it's almost the same size. So this display use the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi to display the output using the SPA communication protocol. But due to that, it's a bit laggy and with a very, very low refresh rate. So that's why it's not a useful in many cases. You can use it if you have a lower budget or you want to just display something, then it's good. But what if you want to make your small gaming console or you want to play some videos on it, then we have this same form factor, but good refresh rate as it, this work over the HDMI interface. So that's why it's have a good refresh rate so we can play some videos and also play some retro games and making a small tiny retro simulator kind of setup with this. So it's very useful in these cases. So if I talk about the resolution, this display come with a 480 by 320 pixel resolution, but you can set up to 920 by 1080 in full HD display using from the software side. But I don't recommend that as that's a gimmick you would not able to see things clearly so i would recommend to set the resolution to the 480 by 320 which is a perfect for this one so now let's see how to set up and then compare both of these displays so let's get started now for the setup part i'm going to use the raspberry pi 4 you can also use the raspberry pi 3 or any which you have here is the raspberry pi now we just need to connect to the gpio pin to power it up that's how now it will use a gpio pin to power the display as well as for the touch control then we need a connector to connect the hdmi like this and now our setup is ready we just need to power it up and we are good to go so here we just need to power it up so here as you can see we finally boot up the raspberry pi and this is directly displaying the display without even installing any drivers now here we have some buttons power menu and up and down we can use this button to configure the menu of this display like brightness contrast anything you want so that's additional function that we don't get in this cheaper LCD displays now as you can see this display is currently working on 920 by 1080 p resolution that's why it's we are not able to see the prop uh, the icon properly so we have to set the resolution uh, around 480 by 320 or 720 at least for this we have two methods first we can directly configure using the raspberry pi display settings or else we can add a configuration code into the conf uh, raspberry pi config file which is in the root directory so let's try both this method and as you can see also we the touch is not working for the touch we have to install the touch driver which is the xt240 so let's do that as well now for the resolution setting we have two options let's check the first one first go to the menu then preferences and then the screen resolutions here we have to go to the layouts and then screen hdmi1 and then the resolutions here we can set the resolution as which now you can try these resolutions which is good for you i would suggest to go with the 720 by 480 click ok and then click apply 
now as you can see it's much better than the previous now we are easily able to see the icons and the te text so you can try others now go to the wiki page of the display link is in the description you can check here you will find the detailed guide to set up the display as you can see now here we have a settings to set the resolutions as well as turn on the touch display now let's just open the terminal here type sudo then type any text editor which you like i will go with nano then slash then the directory of your config file which is in boot slash config dot txt hit enter and now we are in the boot file now we are in the configuration file go to the bottom so this is the camera settings that i previously add now for the display create a new column and here we need to enter this display uh, so we have to copy this control shift v now if you want to use the 400 by 280 resolution you can use this set uh, you can use this settings or you can just else use uh, this line of code hit enter here remove the hashtag now save the setting by control x then yes and enter now reboot so here as you can see we uh, we finally set up the display with the res fixed resolution and the touch working so it's really good it's working perfectly fine now let's just try to play a video on it as this display fail in that case and lag a lot we're gonna compare it as well side by side do add a heatsink and a fan with your raspberry pi 4 if you're using as it's heat up a lot with that much processing to my surprise it's worked Whoa, to my surprise, it's playing the video really, really smooth compared to this one. So it's a must. You should use this HDMI based display if you want to do this kind of stuff with the Pi. This is not going to make it. This is a really, really good option as we see in the test. So here, as you can see, we are connecting with the 3.5 inch display as well as the HDMI 2 is connected to this monitor. So via this we can use both the output of the Raspberry Pi to display. This is not possible with this model as it's cannot don't allow to use the HDMI port for a display out. But but with this one we can use this 3.5 inch as well as the another HDMI port to use the external monitor as a display as well. Side viewing angles are also really good of this display. If we compare to this one, the viewing side viewing angle is a crap in this case. And if we talk about the price difference, I think this costs around $35 and this one is around $50. So that's a huge price difference, but you get the value with this one. So hope you guys like this video. If you have any question, then do let me know in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe to Techionics for more awesome tech videos. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.